Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Matt here from MyRawIntuition.com where I'm helping people reconnect with intuition to achieve higher levels of health and happiness. So today I'm going to be showing you guys another nut butter video. Now I'm not too heavy on the nuts and seeds, but there are instances where nut butters can come in really handy for making dressings and adding to salads and things like that. So I want to give you guys a wide range of options that you can help to create different meals that are going to make your food options much more exciting so that you can stick on your uh, raw food or healthy eating plan much easier. So today we're going to be making almond butter and this is going to be three cups of almonds. We're going to toss it in our food processor and we're going to blend it until it becomes a nice creamy nut butter. Super simple. It's going to be just like the video I showed you on how to make tahini, which I will put a little card up here so you can go check that out. And also, I'm going to put a card up to let you guys check out how I soak and dehydrate my nuts and seeds. Uh, almonds, these are so delicious. And if you think that you love almonds in just how you buy them at the store, wait until you try soaking and dehydrating them. They just become so much more flavorful and you get off a lot of the uh, enzyme inhibitors and phytic acid that make it a little more bitter. So try that out, check out that video, and uh, I think you'll really like it. So let's get started making our nut butter here. I'm just gonna toss in the three cups into the food processor and that's how we're gonna get started. So let's do that. Uh, one of the big benefits that I like about making my almond butter at home or really any nut butter or, or any food is that we take the power back into our hands of knowing what goes into our food. So companies are going to put in sugars and salts and oils and a bunch of other things that we don't necessarily want to be ingesting. And so making it at home eliminates the guesswork of what you're eating. And so you're also just going to get a much fresher taste and you know that it hasn't been sitting on a shelf for months and months. So uh, that's what I like about making this at home. So let's get started. And it's again going to be about 15 minutes and we will check back after that. Alright guys, it has been 10 minutes and it looks like we are good to go. So you can see now, look how creamy that is. Mmm, super good. So we are ready to pour this into our mason jar where we're going to store it in the fridge. All right, guys, there you go. That is a quick and easy raw homemade nut butter. Now, I don't recommend going too heavy on nut butters. They're very high in calories, high in fats, and so we wanna make sure that we are using these appropriately. Uh, you can put them in your dressings and sauces, and you can stretch them out, as Tani Raw likes to say, to make it so you're not using a whole lot but a little bit does go a long ways when you're incorporating them in the right ways uh, in your dressings and sauces. So use a few tablespoons in your salads and things like that, but again, don't go too crazy. But I hope you guys do enjoy this recipe, uh, this one ingredient recipe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Always remember to follow your raw intuition. Detoxify your mind and body the change you want to see small steps towards living better small steps to where i want to be